What's up my creepy gang? Creepy here and we're back again for another video. But before we get started, I just want to say I apologize for being absent for a couple of days. Um, been working, been doing some other stuff. But I have some new videos for you guys. So don't worry, they're coming. Also, if you haven't checked out my last video that I did, the link will be in the description below to check that out. But without further ado, let's get on with this video. Today, I have some big news to talk to you guys about. Black Canary. Yes, Black Canary from DC. Black Canary from Birds of Prey. The actress Gurney Smollett is getting her own HBO Max either TV series or movie. Now, let me just explain to you guys why this is a big deal. Number one, we've been seeing a lot of female characters from DC get a lot of get a lot of attention, get a lot of love, a lot of llama, for example. Catwoman, Batgirl. Oh, and let's not forget the <laughs> lovely and gorgeous Harley Quinn herself. But, you know, I've been seeing, you know, a lot of Black Canary hasn't been getting the attention that she truly deserves in DC. Yeah, sure, we've seen her in, um, you know, we've seen her in, in Green Arrow, you know, the TV series. We've seen her in, you know, uh, Justice League, the animated series. You know, we've seen her in Birds of Prey, but we've never seen her truly get the full attention that she deserves. Like, for instance, with Batgirl getting her own TV series. Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn getting her own movie, her own movie, also being in Suicide Squad and The Suicide Squad and potential, hopefully, a uh, sequel to Harley Quinn. But we haven't been seeing Michael Black Canary get attention that she truly deserves. And I think Journey Smollett played a perfect, uh, when, uh, a perfect rendition of Black Canary. Now, there's no, there hasn't been any like detail about whether it's going to be an HBO Max TV series or an HBO Max movie, but Word is that Black Canary is going to be getting either a movie or a TV appearance in HBO Max. Now, I get, I'm the reason why I'm talking about this is because ever since the Suicide Squad movie, Peacemaker is getting his own HBO Max series. Now, ever since that, and by the way, they're done production with that, but ever since that happened, now you're starting to see more characters from DC either getting their own movie or their own TV series. Now let me just explain to you guys why this is a big deal. Number one, I've already said, Black Canary doesn't get the, as, as much as attention as Harley Quinn, Batgirl, or Catwoman does. She just doesn't. She doesn't get enough credit like those three, right? Another thing is, this could be a big deal for comic book fans and Black Canary fans alike because if Black Canary does get her TV series or does get her own movie, this can open so many doors. You, if Black Canary gets her own TV series, then you can you can see I can definitely see a guest appearance from Green Arrow and so many other characters from Black Canary's universe. Not only that. If you're a DC fan or a Black Canary fan, this is perfect timing to go out and get Black Canary's first comic book appearance, first cameo appearances. Now's the time to get her comic book now. Be because when her show or her movie comes out and it does uh and then, and if it does well, her comic book is gonna raise up in price. Let me tell you this. That, let me tell you this, guys. Now, I'm only saying this because I'm just now learning more about comic books. I'm learning more about the investments of comic books. I'm learning more about CGC. So when her movie or TV series gets gets the green lid and it's ready to go in production and it, and it's out there, her comic book, her first appearance comic book, is only gonna go up in price. 
So I suggest you DC, you Black Canary fans, go get her comic book now. I'm already trying to make a purchase on, on her first appearance comic book. This is the perfect time to go get it right now. Because it will go up in price, and especially in CGC. Especially in a, uh, a 9.8 of a first Black Canary appearance. So this is a perfect timing to go get out to go get her comic book right now. Also, props to Gurney Smalley because when she played Black Canary, the two main people in Birds of Prey that stole the show for me was of course Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn and Gurney Smalley as, as Black Canary. I loved her her adaptation of. Black Canary because it made so much sense, you know, her being like this, and no pun intended, her being like this, like, beautiful bird trapped in a cage, her being abused, you know, her going through this abusive journey in her life, and then being like, you know, sort of like the bodyguard for Black Mask, and, you know, her hiding her own abilities from the world, her hiding herself from the world, her being legitimately like this bird trapped in a cage her whole life. And the way that Gurney Smollett portrayed her was just so perfect. And the fact that, you know, not only that Black Canary, you know, had these amazing abilities and these skills, but the fact that she was also a singer is what made it so perfect and it made sense because her voice is so vocal. Her 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 abilities, her supersonic scream, it made so much sense for her to be a singer and to have that beautiful voice, the beautiful song of a, of the bird that she is. I just love that. I love the way that she betrayed Black Canary. And I know a lot of people. I know a lot of people are a little bit off the fence of. Oh well. This Black Canary, she's not comic book accurate. She doesn't look like she does in the comics. Look, not everything you see in live action movie ad adaptations or TV adaptations is gonna be an exact copy of the comic book rendition that you know and fell in love with. This is from the, the, the director's perspective of how they see Black Canary. This is from the actor's perspective of how they wanna portray their characters. So I thought her, you know, portrayal as Black Canary was perfect. I love it. I want to see, I definitely want to see more of her as Black Canary. And fingers crossed that it's a movie. But I would rather have her have a TV show because think about it. You know, what, we're going to get like an hour and 20 minutes of Black Canary and her going on the adventures. I would rather have her have her own HBO Max series and maybe give her like a her first season like a 10 episode series you know like a 10 episode season each season right i would love to know her origin stories with each episode as, as we go along you know you know what i mean you get you get to dive deep into the lore of who black canary really is we only got a taste of that in birds of prey so i'm hoping that this is a this is the hbo max tv series that would be perfect. If it's a movie, you know, fine, okay, cool. But do it in a way that brings the character with justice and that we get to explore more of who she is, what she's been through. But that's all I have for you guys today. Let me know down in the comments if you guys are hyped about Jenny Smollett portraying her role again as Black Canary. Are you guys Black Canary fans? Do you think this is a perfect time to introduce the character right do you think she should get her own tv series do you think it should be a movie let me know that in the comments and remember guys go get black canary's first comic book appearance go get it now while the show isn't while the show or movie is not in production yet go get it now i'm telling you guys her comic book is going to go up in price so be aware of that if you guys are new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button Hit that post notification bell. I post almost every day except Sundays and Thursdays. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help out the channel a lot. And as always, I'm the Creeper, and I'll see you guys next time.